Guys, did you know COVID-19 has spread rapidly throughout the world and many nations have implemented social distancing or stay-at-home initiative? Yes, since the implementation of the Movement Control Order MCO, public transport services such as MRT, LRT and KTM commuter had to reduce their travel services. Meanwhile, for the aviation sector, public bus facilities and ERL had to be suspended. Oh really? What are the impacts on land transportation? Land transport such as taxi and e-hailing are severely affected. In the face of MCO, among those who are still suffering are private cabbies. Oh yeah, Malay Mail stated that several taxi drivers mentioned about the increasing scarcity in passengers made it worse with the stay-home orders that started on March 18. Oh, I have heard that taxi drivers claim the industry is so badly affected that it lost 100% of its revenue due to the COVID-19 outbreak, especially during MCO. Government Oversight Committee said that e-hailing and taxi drivers have experienced a 70% decrease in daily revenue since the outbreak. Who knows what happened to bus services? I know. Express bus operators are worried about the cost and the fear of falling out because they are unable to bear the maintenance costs or to service their loans. I also read an article about that issue. Johor State Express Bus Operators Association said there were about 13 express bus operators in the state and 90% of them are affected. In addition, CMCO had grounded about 700 buses and left 2,000 employees temporarily out of work in Malaysia. Other than taxi, e-hailing and bus, KTM is also affected by COVID-19. Huh? Really? Yes, KTM Intercity and KTM Commuter reduces the frequency of trains during MCO. As people movement is limited or discouraged, railways are seeing significant drops in revenues and passengers. Really worse, huh? Um, how about air transportation? Is air transport also affected? From what I have read, Malaysia continued to close the borders and ban citizens from travel in order to constrain the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. Due to this restriction, the airline industry is now facing the problem of flight cancellations. Oh, I see. When demands in airlines are declining, some of the airline industry have to temporarily stop their operation. This situation will directly affect the economy of the country. How about the impact of water transportation? I don't know any info about that. Based on my reading, almost 80% of trade is carried by sea. Therefore, the disruptions of water transportation can damage trade flows and also disrupt supply chain due to COVID-19 containment policy. A friend of mine told me that Kuala Kedalangkawi Ferry resumed operations after its service ceased temporarily following the implementation of a targeted enhanced MCO in Kota Star District. So, to conclude, transportation is important sectors for economic development. Yeah, the government should recognize this and be ready to support the transportation and tourism industry that are impacted to help the recovery of Malaysia economy. This is such an interesting conversation. Okay guys, let's go back to our office. I have some work to do. Let's go.